Welcome to episode two of my Timber and Stone Let's Play, everybody. My name is Will Masher, and uh, let's see what's going on. So since the last uh, episode, all I've really done is added this road and this road. Uh, that's it. And it looks as though I already have a villager. Or, sorry, not a villager, but a... a, mi a why can't I think of the name? A migrant coming? I believe that's what this is. And I wonder what he's gonna be well I'm pretty sure he's a he's a uh, what is the name I'm looking for this guy isn't he a carpenter yeah I think he's a carpenter but let's find out it should tell me here in a moment that he's yep there he is a new migrant wishes to join your settlement and he's a level 2 carpenter also a level 3 forager so that's nice well He's got no traits. <laughs> At least he's not got any bad traits, but we've already got a new guy, and that was that was fast. That's the fastest uh, migrant I've had into any of my settlements that I've built so far. Uh, what I want to check on is if I am able to make... I'd like to make a, uh, a fishing pole, which needs some rope two of them. So what I need to do is see if I can build a rope. So I need either animal hair, four of them, or four flax fibers, or some spider silk, or some leather. And I have none of those. So uh, I can't do that yet, unfortunately. So let's put this guy to work as a miner. So we're gonna go ahead and change. Well, what was his what was his levels again? He's a level one miner. He is a level three miner. So this guy's gonna now be a miner, and we're just gonna have him go and do his thing, and this guy can continue being a crafter or a carpenter, I guess. So nighttime is is now coming along quite quickly, and we've got 116 food over here, 74 stone. I only have one pick left, so let's go ahead and get some more picks being built. Let's add another five to the screw it. Let's add another 25 to the queue. As far as axes go, I've still got five. They seem to last forever in comparison to the uh, the stone pickaxes. Don't need any armor right now. Uh, let's see. What would I like to build next? Uh, I really do want to get a farm going. I'd like to build a bed, but I need to get the farm going for that. Maybe I'm just going to make a... I don't know. Maybe I'll make a farmer here. I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. You guys can give me suggestions on what you would like to see, what you'd like me to do, or what you would like to learn. Uh, I figure that if you watch these enough, you're gonna you're gonna learn some of the ins and outs of this game, as will I. There is still a lot of things that I don't know myself. What is this? Who is this guy? Holy cow! I have another one coming. This is amazing. <laughs> I've never had this many settlers coming in uh, so quickly in a game. So it looks like I'm gonna have a, a soldier or an infantry unit coming in. Uh, that is great. That is really great. Uh, let's take a look at... Well, he's going to be here any minute. I want to take a look at some options here. Allow the game to run in the background. Pause the game when enemies are sighted. Pause the game on unit death. Enable vertical sync. Okay, I guess I have everything enabled already. Discard changes and resume game. So, I wish you could click on people when they're coming into your into your uh, settlement, and you can't. So, this guy, I think I'm going to turn into a farmer. Actually, I think <laughs> this guy's Philip. No, uh, Simmond. He's just passed the hell out, man. That guy's he's had it. He's done. 
He's tired. He needs a nap. Kurt Cameron. <laughs> it's too much like Kurt Cameron. Is, uh... Is, uh... Chopping away there quite finely at that tree. Alright, mister. Come on. Let's see what you have for me. Neil. He's disloyal and clumsy. Well, that's fantastic. He's a level 3 herder, level 3 fisherman. Ah, oh, man, I need to I need to get some some uh, rope going. He's brought three food, a lot of armor, so that's lovely. And uh, let's accept him. And uh, let's just check to see if we have a farmer in in our in our society here. Doesn't look like we do. Oh, this guy here is a farmer and a miner, both of level three. So you, sir, are going to be a farmer. And you, sir, are going to be a miner. So head on over here and automatically equip your, your junk. Okay. Uh, looks like we do have a hoe for this guy. So where do we want this farm to be? Uh, I think I'm going to put it just right here for now. So let's do some... Uh, let's do a wheat farm here. And we're going to go 3x3 three three for all these farms, I think. Uh, cotton right here. And potato right there. And turnip we'll put right there. And corn we'll put over here. And the flax I'm going to put right there. This, These two here are the ones I really want to get going, going the flax and the, and the uh, wheat. So I'm probably going to have <clears throat> another farmer here fairly soon to help this guy out. And then we'll decide from there what's going to happen next. So I don't see... Oh, our forager is having a, having a rest over there. Mr. Harry Nizan. What is that? Is that a sheep? Yeah, that's a sheep. I'm just taking a look to see if there's any more migrants. You can see here that when they start walking down the roads, they actually form a path uh, to your to your uh, village or your settlement. You don't want too many villagers or too many settlers there though because eventually they will start to deplete your food resources and if that happens then they're all going to starve to death. But right now my food sources are looking pretty pretty good. So we're just going to keep these guys doing what they're doing. Eventually what I'm going to do <clears throat> is uh, build a mine down here. Probably about three high, I'm hoping. And I'm going to try to make it look nice down there and uh, get that whole part going. And <clears throat> excuse me, in the update that's coming out, uh, there's going to be an adventurer mode where you'll actually be able to go into a first person view and play the character as, you know, as a first person perspective which will be fantastic let's add some logs to our fire uh, however you do move quite slowly which is unfortunate <laughs> I hope I hope that there will be a sprint added or or some such thing it could be an adventure only uh, feature that allows you to sprint around I think it would be a little bit more more entertaining than just walking at a snail's pace so to speak so what we're going to do is continue with the farm, continue with the mining. This guy is being lazy right now and is halfway through level 3. When when the game kind of first starts, I, I tend to not worry so much about levels. I, I'd like to have them complete a level and actually uh, level up, but if I need them to do something different, then I don't mind switching them uh, to whatever I need them to do. Uh, but I do try to avoid it if I can. However, I'm really considering making him a farmer until I need him to be 
a carpenter again. Uh, I'm not really in the need of weapons right now. Uh, I've got some hammers. Uh, let's make a couple of stone hoes. And we have a good supply of pickaxes at the moment and axes. Uh, we have a steel hammer. That's that's handy. And uh, we have some more of these. Let's add two more to the queue there. What is his uh, level doing here every time he makes one? Can't tell if it's going up. Let's see. It goes up a little bit. We could probably level him up to... Uh, four. I think what we'll do is let's take a look here. We could always build a door. Alright, we could build a door. Let's put it let's just make a small uh, room around this. Where do we want this room to be? Let's do a right uh, right here, I think, for now, is where I'm going to build something. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's... Or is it a builder who builds the doors? Hmm. Oh, carpenter. That was right. So he can go ahead and, uh, and build that door. And then I'm going to get a builder to build the little room here, and then we'll move the hall inside here and we'll just get that built in just for whatever reason okay is this another settler holy cow this is ridiculous i've never had this many holy cow all right so after we accept this guy we're going to end this episode and you know what i'm going to cancel this door uh is he all he's already done that okay so what's this guy he is a archer. He is also a builder and a farmer and a herder. So he is going to be a farmer. He has bad vision, but he's courageous. Those two things kind of cancel each other out. He's probably going to get himself killed. I'm just saying. Uh, let's switch him to a farmer and get him over there helping out. And guys, I will see you in the next episode. And... Uh, Maybe I'll wait for day to come, and we'll see what happens. If anything interesting happens and all, then I'll be back. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing, and I shall see you guys soon. Rate, comment, and subscribe. That'd be great.